Review, Module 1, Lesson 5. I can name decimal fractions in expanded, unit, and word forms by applying place value reasoning. Let's look at the number 25 and 413 thousandths. The first thing we want to do is apply our place value reasoning or our place value understanding by placing this number in the place value chart. By doing this, we've organized our number and we've organized our thoughts. We can clearly see there are two tens, five ones, four tenths, one hundredth, and three thousandths. We're going to need that as a reminder as we work through our different forms. Our first form is word form. This is the way to write numbers by using the words. For each number we see, we're going to spell it out using words. So we have 25 and 413 thousandths. Our second form is unit form. By reading our number, we can already see our decimal fraction. It's 25 and 413 thousandths. We also know that we can write this decimal as a mixed number using a fraction. So 25, our numerator is 413, just like we see in our digits over here. Our denominator is our place value. That's 1,000, 25 and 413 thousandths. Let's take it a step further and apply our place value reasoning. We can look at our digits and clearly break down each number that we have within here. We can see, just like our place value chart, we have two tens, five ones, four tenths, one hundredth, and three thousandths. Where do we get that information? Right here from the place value chart. So now we can see each unit that makes up our entire number. The third form is expanded form. This is the way to write a number showing the sum of the value of its digits. What we're going to do is take this number and stretch it out based on each place value. Right here we can see that there are two tens. So our first digit is a two. It's in the tenths place. So to get that value, we're going to multiply two times ten. We have parentheses here as mathematical glue. We want those to stick together. Now we can add our next place value. Our digit is five and it's in the ones place, so we're going to glue together five times one. Our next digit is four, it's in the tenths place, so we're going to multiply four times one tenth. The next one we're going to add is our digit one in the hundredths place, so it's one times one hundredth. And then finally, we have our digit three in the thousandths place, so we're going to add three times one thousandth. Now you don't have to write them all as decimals. You also have the option of representing them as fractions. Four times one tenth, one times one hundredth, and three times one thousandth. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and pause the video. Try the following number in word form, unit form, and expanded form. Did you get it?